I know it's not the Gears 5 review, but here's the Gears Pop review coming to you right now. Hey guys, IRL Games here bringing you the Gears Pop review. I know it's not the Gears 5 review. I'm doing that later this week. I'm actually working on it right now. Real quick, when I hit 2,500 subscribers, I'll be giving away one of these awesome controllers. So make sure to subscribe now if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get into the Gears Pop review. So this is a free mobile game that is a tower defense sort of game um, based out of the Gears universe. Um, with a partner with uh, Funko, which Funko Pops are freaking awesome. So here is just kind of some of the gameplay showing you how it's kind of all run down. But basically, you want to get to the other side and destroy the two turrets and the enemy's um, main defender. So first off, price-wise, really good because it's free. So we're going to give that a 5 out of 5 there. Um, co-op, there's not really any co-op unless you do horde mode, which I haven't been able to do. So if you want to join my uh, group, make sure to let me know in the comments below. I'll give you the name for that and we can start doing some hordes because I have a bunch of tokens to get that stuff done. Um, it also has achievements, so that is a pretty good plus for anybody that's an Xbox user. You can get some gamer score on the go before xCloud comes out in October, which I'll be doing a video on that shortly as well. Um, Overall, the mechanics and everything is really smooth. There were some technical issues with the Xbox Live support, but they fixed that and we got rewarded for them fixing it. So I have no complaints here on that. Um, it's not a super complicated game. It's just kind of by chance and timing, which can make it a little bit annoying at times in this uh, gameplay. You will kind of see what that's like. There's certain times where you just get destroyed and there's other times where you just get a bunch of victories in a row. So it's all pretty random. It's all pretty much by chance. But overall, it's a really good experience because it's free and the gameplay isn't that long. Um, you want to make sure you have internet connection for this or cellular data um, as you put face other players online. You can do an offline mode, I'm pretty sure, um, to do some of the challenges. And that's a pretty good experience. Um, Real quick, I am going to be doing a Gears 5 review. I know that you guys have been waiting for it. I've been trying to get some friends to get online so they can do multiplayer with me. I've only done what you guys have seen on the channel. So if you haven't checked out that gameplay, make sure to check that out. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Hope you really enjoy it and uh, get some stuff out of this. I'm also going to be doing more code giveaways for the Sour Patch Kids codes for CTR stuff. Been trying to work on that too. There's lots of games coming out and everything. Um, and so I'll keep you guys posted on that. I hope that you guys have a good start of your week and uh, just enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Um, also, real quick, I also just want to do a shout out for Able Gamers Charity. If you guys don't know what that is, it's a charity that helps people with disabilities. Um, helps them get back in the game. So if you haven't heard anything about them, make sure to go check that out. Um, it's, I think it's a really cool mission what they're doing, just giving everybody a chance to game equally, and I think it's something that's really cool. Um, that's why the assistive controller is at the beginning of the video, so I'm trying to be an advocate for that community and just help people out that are in need in that way. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. And I will be giving you the full score review here in a minute. So, as you saw, got a victory. That took me, like, way too long to get that today to record the video for you guys. So, hopefully you enjoy that. Got the pop's head flying off there. Um, so, going into some other stuff real quick. So, there's a character selection. You can kind of pick what, what different pops you want to be part of your team which I think is pretty cool in different rarities. And then there's also the daily challenge feature stuff so you can get more rewards that way so that way you don't have to pay actual money, which I love. And then the achievement support here, which I also love because that just helps raise up those gamer points. And then you have different ways that you can pay through microtransactions or just buying stuff in the store. So overall score, 
I'm going to tell you guys right now. I give this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a really good game. Uh, make sure to check it out. And hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to subscribe for future content. Have a good one, guys. Peace out.